I want to welcome you to Devo's here today. And all this week, I'm going to be talking about it's choice, not chance. Now, I want you to know as a believer, there is nothing that is an uh-oh with God. So if he brings things into your life, then he has a purpose. So what I want to take a look here is at having a life that is honoring and pleasing to God and being on a productive productive path in which you're going to be blessed. Now, remember the two greatest days of your life is first the day that you're born. And then secondly, when you realize why you were born. So we're going to be talking out throughout this week, just about knowing the will of God here also. So when it comes to your day, and if you want to have a happier day, don't listen to yourself. I mean that. Don't speak to yourself. you got all these thoughts in your mind. Don't, don't listen to that. I want you to speak to yourself, especially as you go into your devotional time. You do not want to sleep through your adventure. God has a great adventure for you, and you want to sleep through it. So look here. Revelation 3, verse 2. Wake up. If you're early this morning, you need that, right? Okay, strengthen what remains. Okay, every time I read that, I think to myself, uh, there's not love a lot left here, (laughs) but I'm to strengthen and get all out of it that I can. Okay, and uh, that remains and is about to die, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then what you have received and heard and keep it. Look, repent. If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come against you. Now, When we're looking at this, this is, of course, speaking about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming, and we are living in the last days. Don't sleep spiritually. I mean, you want to get things done for the Lord. You want to live a productive life in in honoring and uh, glorifying to him. Now, it's never too late for some of you to go back to bed, right? Okay, so don't do that. I, I Don't look at other people and say, well, you know, well, I'm doing more than they are. No, I want you to do all that God wants you to do. Now, look with me in uh, Hebrews. Oh, oh, here, drop this down. Don't sleep through your adventure. I wanted you to get that down. But also look in Hebrews 6, verse 12. That you may not be slothful, that's lazy, but be followers of them who through faith and patience inherit life promises. Now, what's that saying? It's telling you to follow other people successful Christians. Don't do what mainstream people are doing. Don't do what most people you see around you doing. You want to follow people who know God, who love God, who've been blessed of God, but you got to wake up and we, we got to get ready. Listen, you, you know, we, we have that, uh, with that little poem where it talks about the footprints through the sands of time. I, I always say some of you, you're going to have butt drags through the sands of time. I mean, you, God had to drag you through life. Listen, you don't want to be that way. You want to be working for him and serving him. You want to be blessed of him. There are things in which God wants you to receive, but you got to get up and you got to get moving. I, you know, sometimes we'll, we'll get a wild card. I, I was dealing with uh, one of our young people, and they were a little out of control. And I told their parents... I would ha- rather have a child that is a little too energetic, a little too out of control than to be working with a child that I can't get off the couch. Because you see, I would rather tame a wild stallion than to ride a dead horse. So let's get moving. Now look with me in um, Mark 11. I love this passage, verse 22 through 24. It says, have faith in God. Jesus said, truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and be thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but he believes that what he says, it's going to come to pass. It will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it, and it will be yours. I like that. Listen, but the problem is, you got to start living for him. You, you, you got to start serving him. You, you want to start standing up for him. Listen, wake up. You don't want to sleep through your adventure today. 